All right, as promised, I am going to do another video uh, in regards to the blog entries that I'm putting on the website. So don't expect a lot of fancy graphics or anything like that because I just don't have time, especially with what's going on around here today. Uh, as you can tell, the microphone is still sounding a little campy because my mixer board is dying. I do expect a new one by Wednesday, Thursday, I hope, at the latest Thursday. Uh, but I had to do a... Uh, uh, video on this uh, see because I've gotten you know the phone call I kind of figured I would have to post this sooner or later but you know since I've gotten a phone call or two and, and more than one email on it lately but I never expect the world daily to post this fall they all but then they do believe in a seven-year tribulation and that is par for the course for the disobedient among us I mean the the, the man in this world net daily article is now seen as confirmed false prophet and yes it's the same guy that I exposed some time ago in a video that I did about the blood red moons uh, so I'm not going to go into any details to what he's saying in this article and stuff like that. If you want the details, I'll put the link in the uh, comment section below. But if you look a little deeper into this man's strange claims for September 23rd, he and many others like him that are Sunday keepers and therefore incapable of understanding prophecy, they claim the Great Tribulation is about to happen, and they also declare it will last seven years, of which 1,260 days of it will be very intense and bloody for those left behind, further twisting Bible prophecy out of whack to hedge up the Jesuit falsehood that was designed to hide the truth about the Vatican killing Christians during the Great, the real Great Tribulation from 538 A.D. to 1798 A.D. And yes, if you do the math, that's exactly 1,260 years. This is the 1,260 days that the prophet Daniel spoke of that has already occurred. Not only do we have biblical proof, we have historic proof that it happened during the exact years that the prophet Daniel declared it would happen via the testimony of the angel Gabriel. The 1,260 days started in the exact year that the Church of Rome gained political power, making her a woman on a beast, as John the Revelator saw her. And then for the next 1,260 years, because in prophecy, a day equals a year. And see Numbers 14.34 and Ezekiel 4.6 to confirm that. The Church of Rome initiated the Great Tribulation that the Jesuits of Rome had been trying to hide for centuries that proved the popes of Rome were in fact the men of sin and the prophesied Antichrist. So the basic reality here is hundreds of millions of Christians were tortured and killed by the popes and the prelates during the 1,260 years. And we are somehow supposed to ignore that historic fact and think that Jesus Christ wouldn't prophesy about such a deadly time as this for his bride when the popes ran amok during an exact time period as predicted by the prophet Dan. And, and what about the fact that the 1,260 years are taken out of chronological context by removing it from Daniel's 2,300-year prophecy to place it at the end of the world? You, I mean, you simply can't do that with Bible prophecy, but because most people don't study Bibles, next to no one knows that. And so the wolf standing behind the pulpit will easily sway them into believing a lie, just as another prophecy predicted for our day. So as also prophesied, many false prophets have come forward to gather sheep into the fire with them. This Mark Biltz and many others like him are simply obedient servants of the dying God of this world. So pray for them. Pray that they repent and become one with Jesus Christ, as the time to do so is running out rapidly. The fact there are so many false prophets out there walking among us confirms we are in the very last days. And as for the signs that shall be from heaven that these wolves declare in unison, no. Jesus wasn't talking about blood red moons, eclipses, or signs of the zodiac, no less. I mean, which, by the way, were invented by the pharaohs, pagan magicians, to help claim Pharaoh as a living God by stating the stars in the heavens were moving about to glorify him, Pharaoh, via his birthday. That's right. That's when horoscopes were invented. All those celestial events can be charted and mapped in time easily today, which means we can now know the exact time they're going to come to fruition. You can actually download a free app that will give you the exact time these things will happen. And so to believe those signs are of God, well, that's actually calling your God a liar. When his son plainly said in Matthew 24, 36, but of the day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. All the prophecies that have been confirmed as fulfilled in historic record that the prophet Daniel spoke of during his 2300-year prophecy were, in fact, dated events. The angel Gabriel gave him an exact date, 457 B.C., to start the prophetic timeline for that 2300 years, and so to pull that 1260 years out from that timeline and then place it in another timeline that started after the 2300 years ended, 
That's simply ludicrous and downright satanic to boot. I mean, it shows a deceptive reason for it all. We have the exact dates that all those prophecies have been fulfilled already thanks to Gabriel giving Daniel that starting date. I mean, you can check out my prophetic timeline when you get time. <laughs> I mean, in short, what happened at the end of the 2300-year prophecy, which ended on October 22nd, 1844, by the way, that was actually the beginning of the end of days, among other things. And, and because of it being that time in history for the Christian church, our God saw fit to hide the dates forward to prevent problems. In other words, from that very day forward, no one alive was to know the day or hour of any prophesied event. We know for a fact what's going to happen next, yeah, but we have no idea when it's going to happen. See Revelation 10, verse 6 for proof on that. And for this false preacher, Mark Biltz in, uh, of World Net Daily or anyone else like him all over YouTube that keep making these claims using the horoscopes of Satan himself as if they are signs from God, are showing themselves to be the wolves that prophecy spoke of. I mean, common biblical sense dictates that why would the Lord Jesus Christ need to use Satan's easily mapped and pagan horoscopes as signs in the heavens for the Christian church when our God created it all and can just as easily move a star to shine extra bright over Bethlehem as he did when Jesus was born. And so that all being said, would you like to see a sign in the heavens that is more in the lines of biblical jurisprudence and no man can map and no one can download an app to calculate? Remember that video I did a little while ago about uh, an explosion in the Ryan Nebula? Well, check out what I have online about that. There's a cloud coming right now out of the Orion Nebula. I mean, let's see those wolves calculate that one. Now do you see why the Pope who has been caught worshiping Satan has a telescope named Lucifer pointed towards that nebula? I mean, even Satan doesn't know when it's going to happen, and so he keeps his eye on that region of space for a reason. So please, study your Bibles. And pray every day, my brothers and sisters. It's very easy to expose these ravening wolves. There is precious little time left, and the Lord needs workers with spiritual backbones without guile to tell the truth as it is written. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. All the false prophets that echo Jesuit lies about a secret rapture or a seven-year tribulation or even a thousand years of peace are simply setting everyone up to accept Antichrist when he stands on earth claiming to be Jesus Christ. Most will believe it to be Jesus because most don't open their Bibles to see yet another prophecy that says Jesus never touches the earth at his second coming. In fact, his obedient bride are caught up to meet him in the air. Check out 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 18 for that one. These wolves preach a ton of false prophecies like this for a sinister reason. They do it to get the people weary of all their prophecies failing. So that when the real preachers speak of the actual prophesied truths and prophetic warnings, most are just going to think that it's just another false prophet crying wolf, and they will be moved by Satan to ignore the real prophetic events so as to ready them to stand in the flames of hellfire with Satan on that final day. And if you want any of this information that I stated here, go to this page on my website, the main page, the blog, because I, I have all the links and the transcript of this video right here. All right? There's all the links. You click every one of them that I said, you know, about the last days or the blood red moons. You click any of those links, it'll bring you to the videos. It'll bring you to the articles. Thank you for watching. God bless.